So we just started onboarding a month ago, roughly. Um, and we have, we'll say, Comicus, we have Comicus, uh, co-managed IT. We have, we, the automation team acts as um, part of our corporate team and we have our branch offices that we manage. Um, so we have a lot of boards and ConnectWise and we like to keep um, accountability on tickets and not pass tickets, move tickets around. Um, some techs don't have access to some boards. So we came up with a, um, a ticket mirroring process. I'll show. So when a, we watch all tickets come into the platform, um, we determine who who last updated them, as long as it's not a API account, if it's an actual human, um, we check, uh, we, we keep record of tickets linked to each other. So we check to see, is there an open mirror or is there a mirror ticket for this object? Um, if there is, we update statuses and databases. Um, depending on the status, if it's escalated, we'll add tickets saying, hey, this has already been mirrored. Um, if its status gets changed to closed or completed, we post the status on the other tickets um, if it's closed or completed. Uh, with state changes of tickets, we post uh, tick notes. Um, if it's ah, if it's not, we'll check to see if it needs a mirror, and that's based on statuses. If it's if its state is escalated, and right now we're migrating from one automation platform for another, so right now it's just our testing. Um, and if it is, if it needs a mirror, it'll create a mirror. So it will basically create a duplicate ticket. Um, <laughs> create a mirror. So we get the service team of the ticket. We get the initial description of the ticket. We get the company team of the ticket. And we get the different boards. So depending on the team, it will go to different boards. It'll go to our HD master board, and then we have another workflow that watches the HD master board. And based on the company team, we'll put it on several other, other service boards. Um, so it'll create a ticket, and then it'll go and start syncing notes between the tickets. So we keep notes from the source ticket. We push those over to the destination ticket. And then every time a ticket gets updated, it goes through a note syncing process. So we take all the notes from the source and the destination and the time entries. And once we get them all, we will Put them in lists. If it's not, um, if it's not updated by an API, a robot, we'll check them to see if they're missing. If they're missing, then we'll add them to the corresponding tickets, so we can have technicians not have access to our co-managed IT people's service boards, and they can do work for them and bill appropriately, rather than putting tickets directly on our co-managed IT people board so they can use their board for what they want to use it for. Um, all this is tracked in a AWS RDS database. Um, <laughs> very simple to add a record to a database. We're just looking at ticket um, IDs and statuses for validation that they're in sync. 